it's the 2nd of October, so technically the month already started, but that's build a TBR. So I saw some people do this thing where they have kind of a TBR, not kind of, they have a TBR jar full of reading prompts. And I wanted to try to do the same thing and build my October TBR. The only thing is that I don't have one of those aesthetic, aesthetically, aesthetic, one of those beautiful jars. So I did some adaptations in my own way. So we have here a cookie jar full of reading prompts. And let's get, I think, five prompts. I think it's a good number. And here's my TBR, my physical TBR. I also have the Kindle, but I also have it on my phone so we can check what I have on Kindle. And let's pick out the prompts and decide on the books I want to read or it would be a good idea for me to read this month. And I also have stick notes so I can mark the books we pick out. So let's start by opening the jar and actually let's close again and do a bit of a mix and pick out a prompt. I have a lot of prompts, some are very standard easy to follow, others are very weird, some are a bit unhinged and some I have no idea why I did these prompts, but they're here and maybe I'll have one of those too and I don't know what one is that, so let's pick this one an author you never read before that's That's the first prompt, so I think we have quite a bit of those here on the physical one. We have Toby Morrison, which I've been wanting to read for a while, but I always forget. But I also recently bought Brandy, I'm going to check the Kindle now to see if there is any anything what to read here. I'm having like choice overload. You know what? I'll go with Bunny by Bunny. Bunny by Mona Awad because I just wanted to read his book for a while now and I kept putting it off. So Bunny it follows this girl, she goes to a very uh, it's a prestigious university, she's doing some kind of prestigious uh, MFA program and apparently she goes and she ends up in some kind of weird friend group. I don't know much about this book, but every review I ever heard or every time I hear someone talking about this book, they say it is weird. Let's do a second prompt. A book that matches your outfit. So I'm wearing a black and white. This is the prompt, by the way. I have a, I'm wearing black and white. So we have basically any Penguin classic, which we do have a few. We also have Secret History kind of matches. So I think I'll finally read Pride and Prejudice. It's black, so it matches my t-shirt. So two books, three more to go. So yeah, I think I think this is one of those prompts that can kind of go into unhinged or just it's not really unhinged but the, but the prompt it is I'm just Ken so I'm not sure <laughs> what I wanted or what I meant when I wrote this prompt maybe like 
the characters give that I'm just can vibe, I'm can of vibe. I think in this category maybe we should go for like a woman's novel because maybe maybe those characters are more like I'm just can. First in love she sees a friend. Maybe one where the main character is blonde and he's living that blonde fragility life. I just realized I had the perfect book but I already read it. Even though the, the character is not blonde but I think the Cruel Prince series could go into the I'm Just Can't vibes. Does the Daisy Hates book fit that vibe? Yeah, I don't think a gang lord would be can. I'm trying to figure out but I think Brandon, the main character in He Happened One Summer, isn't Ken. And I think he's inspired by Mud from Schitt's Creek, I'm pretty sure. And is Mud Ken? I think maybe that would be more of a Ken than Mud, but please correct me if I'm wrong. Or is Mud a Ken? No. This one. Mr. Wrong Number by Lynn Painter. Is he, is he a Ken? Yeah, let's narrow it down. What can is? He's enough. He's living the life of prone fragility. He's obsessed with Barbie. So we need one where the main character is completely obsessed with someone. Maybe I should just go to Goodreads and search a list of. <laughs> I found the romance list sections on Goodreads and let me tell you, there are so many lists, some of them are uh, very questionable, that's a bold name for it, but none is the one I want. I found a list between many many lists that included many titles and many very specific about books but none of them said I'm Ken but I found one said I've loved you for years so maybe this is Ken vibes and one of them it's Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte is the person in here Ken maybe because this is the closest thing I I found we'll put it in the maybe pile let's we have Emma, which is a book I own for years and never read. We have a lot of Jane Austen here, actually. Okay, I already read it ends with us. I already read Peach Wit, which is amazing. <laughs> Maybe I should reread Peach Wit? Maybe? No, let's find something new. Ooh. Shadow and Bone. I think Smile, right? Sorry if that was a spoiler. I think if it is the same as the... TV series from Netflix, Seven Bond is an option. But is anyone actually obsessed? And he has Ken vibes? I guess Mao can have Ken vibes because his whole thing is being dedicated. He lives for Alina. So that's Ken vibes. Okay, you know what? I'm going to lose. We'll go for Shadow and Bone. Finally, let's read Shadow and Bone because it was on the list of I've loved you for years for prompt. A book currently popular on Goodreads, so I guess we'll go back to the Goodreads page. Let's try to trending with Goodreads members. Bunny, it's trending. And what are the most read this week? Ooh, there's better than the movies. Icebreaker. What do you think would fit more? I don't know, because I'm actually already, I'm currently reading or finishing reading the Off Campus series and that is a hockey romance series, so I don't know if it would be too much hockey romance for one single person. Oh, I... Siri was activated for some reason. So let's, let's... Bye Siri. Yay, you are gone. I don't know if it will be too much. Then we have Better Than The Movies, which is a popular, I don't know, it's a popular book. Let's follow for Better Than The Movies, because I feel like 
I was going to say, I feel, I feel like if I went to Icebreaker, it would be overwhelmingly too much sports romance at once, and I might want to burn them, uh, which I, I won't. I won't burn them. Let's put here in the navy, and then by the end of the video, we'll figure out. So let's take the fifth prompt. A medium priority book. Actually, not. We'll go for the two because they're both kind of medium priority books. So we can fulfill two prompts without necessarily making a decision. So one will be for a medium priority book and one will be for a book popular on Goodreads. We won't decide which one is which, but they, they fit. They fit. Both fronts, so stick no time. So we have five books that are banned now on reading smoke. The first one is Bunny by Mona Awad. This is a dark academia, very weird book about someone that goes to college and ends up in the wrong friend group. Then we have Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. It's about Elizabeth Bennet and Mr. Darcy and there are a bunch of movies about them and people love it. Then we have Shadow and Bone, which is the first book in the Grishaverse series and that I bought because I want to read because of the Netflix series. Then the two last books because I couldn't <laughs> really make a decision. Uh, one will be for popular, but these two are very popular on Goodreads right now. I'm also they were on my medium priority list. We have Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. This is a YA romance novel. And then we have Icebreaker by Hannah Grace, which is a sports romance. I think he is. Ooh, I already made the first lipstick mark on the book, but, but that's okay. It would be marked anyway. But yeah, Icebreaker it's a sports romance between a college hockey player and a figure skater and something happens and they become figure skating partners or something like that. These are the five books I've been away in October and if you like this video give a like, subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye! I will be more 